Hello, you love me. what I say. <laughs> oh, you're alrighty. <laughs> you killed me fixing your hair, dog. <laughs> 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 Letty son. Letty. Doña Letty. Uh oh. No, no. Pull it out more. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Portland word, huh? Pull it out more? The Portland. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, now Cassidy. it's made for uh, Instagram TV. Yeah. <laughs> Are you on Instagram TV no, live? No, I'm on Instagram. Oh, well, you could share it live. I'm into that. What's up, fool? I'm going to lean over here. <laughs> Some lean. You're going to kiss me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue in cheek. Eh? What's up, fool podcast? What's up, fool podcast? Welcome, everyone, to the What's up, fool podcast. We have a lot of people today, man. First of all, we have the co-host of the year and the co-host of the week. And the co-ho host of the half a year, Martin Rizzo, people. <laughs> half a yeah. year. Rodrigo Torres right yeah. here. Johnny Roque. Who's our next victim, at dog? <laughs> Johnny Roque over here. <laughs> yeah. He was silent, fool. No, he was. Um, he had a pillow fight the night before, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the feathers so inside the pillow. I thought you were going to shave your head, dog. I want to. I'm waiting for Rizzo to bring his clippers over. You're going to shave your head? Yeah, this yeah, yeah. He wants to look like El Monte Johnny when I first met him in <laughs> 2008. Uh, where do you live? Oh, I live over off Chingasso <laughs> Boulevard. Yeah. Why well, you want to look like Shrek, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're new bits, eh? Wreck, eh? Johnny's like Kramer. You got to borrow everything to get something done. <laughs> hey, where's that gotta other jacket? Where's the jacket? That. Yeah, we, we were talking about that jacket last time. Yeah, twin. Uh, this uh, is the replacement jacket. Yeah. 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 <laughs> tell like tell the better. story of the jacket, Martin. How you lost that jacket. Yeah, well, how you lost it. <laughs> Let me get my belt. <laughs> it, all, <laughs> it all happened. Uh, what's it called? It, I think last year when we were doing the Irvine Improv uh -huh. with Felipe, and then uh, <laughs> let him borrow it. <laughs> Wait, don't bring Felipe into this. <laughs> we were at, uh, get it back from dog. We were oh, at uh, that jacket. <laughs> I think I was at Santa at Stephanie's house, and then when uh, when I saw at the Improv, you were like wearing my whole outfit. <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Wait, what> the <laughs> my jackets, and then, uh, that's when you lost like all the weight. Yeah. I remember, yeah. Uh, so you're feeling confident. You started stealing your fashion, man. Yeah. <laughs> when you got sick. Moves like Rizzo. <laughs> <laughs> I like remember single he, white female. He put on a jacket. That's when I started noticing he lost weight. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was still wearing his big clothes. Eh? That's what Johnny thought, too. This makes me look like I lost weight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta do I'm something about it. the shoulders. <laughs> yeah, man. He only wore the jacket or your pants. No, no uh, not the pants, right? No. No, nah, I stole those khakis from oh, you. Oh, you stole the khakis from me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was moving, I, I remember, uh, what's it called? I couldn't find these khakis, and then I saw you wearing them. I was like, they look tight on you, bro. Uh, I know, but they were good. They hug you in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, fool <laughs> podcast? Oh, man. So, um, crazy things have been happening this week. Um, we found out that um, Greenland is not for sale. No, <laughs> sucks. Well, so man, and I, and I was ready to buy it too. I had like five hundred twenty-three billion dollars. Huge. <laughs> also, the Amazon is on fire, bro. It's still Ooh. burning. Yeah, bro. I, that's a, that's what it looks like when I smoke a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think uh, France offered to give them um, twenty-one million dollars, and not just France. It was the and European, then the whole the European the Union. And um, Brazil said, "Chale, we're gonna be no colony." Huh. <laughs> oh, damn. They're trying to expand their interest. They're in trying to huh? give their money to them. Or they're going to owe that money for let us know, Rodrigo. No, they always you, you got to pay it back somewhere. Something. And that was Tom Felipe yesterday. Is they're going to you know expand their interest there if they're already there. Yeah, they're just going to expand that shit. They get your tooth, their teeth in you. Now. Open up a baguette shop. Nothing's free, dog. Nothing is but free. But then you dog. get used mm -hmm. to that money too as a country, yeah, and then you. they try to pull it away as sanctions and that sort of thing. You know, any sort of aid they'll start to cut off or they'll start to use it politically. Well, we'll just have to pull our funding. I Leverage, think in, in the end, man, they're like. If but, you like these countries, you, like who, who now you have Brazil, right? You say they say, yeah, yeah, they're in for 21 million, but that's not 21 million ain't shit, bro, to oh, cut no. up that fire, bro. How much did it cost to turn off the fire here in California? Probably more than that, yeah. And we have more resources, yeah. movies don't even cost 21 million to make, 
But it's not just about putting yeah. it out. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's not even that much money. Yeah, it's not even about the we're, we're, we're talking thing. about Fahrenheit 11 here, bro. <laughs> Look at my, my, Mikey Moore over here. <laughs> That's your price comparison. Yeah, movie, yeah. <laughs> you were saying, Lisa? I forgot now. Oh, this guy. <laughs> $21 million, bro. No, that, that's, not, that's a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, but th- you're Ooh, thinking shit. in terms of damage to them. Um, when we have fires, we have damage. That's what the costs go to, like all the homes that are lost. Oh, right. But the damage. forest, there's... Six dollars in damages. Uh, yeah, I mean, like technically, damage-wise, there's probably not much, like businesses and buildings and yeah. homes. But Rabbits. There mm. is, it's the ecosystem. But the ecosystem. That's more important than monetary value. You know, you can't really put a price on it. You know, but the the other uh, states in Brazil, the other heads of those states are saying, please, let's say yes to the money because they think it's going to be helpful. But then the other thing, too, is uh, they said that, you know, crooked Brazilian politicians are going to line their pockets with all the aid money. And that guy, oh, didn't shit. that guy just take office? Yeah. Paulo Saro, what's he's his name? A, he's, I don't know his name, Paulo but it's uh, something but like he's, that. he's uh, the right wing uh-huh. opposition to the, what was in there before the liberal And he got uh, injured or stabbed, he got stabbed before during a ca- campaign. he took office. And, and that, that kind of like, got him elected. Him over, yeah. But the people saying, dude, the crime is like rampant. We got to do something. But uh, I was talking to the cab driver, Jerry, and he's all, oh, man, it's just a cleansing down there in the Amazon, man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't think he's ha- I don't think he's all wrong. Yeah, I think I, that I think maybe, you know, they want to help. These p- people want to help with money. But I think that leader is probably looking at this as an opportunity, yeah. too. Because he's saying that they lit it on fire just to make them look bad. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I mean, that's where they're cooking all the Popeye sandwiches, eh? <laughs> <laughs> someone, said to, someone said that the, the farmers started those fires in, by yeah, their own. Yeah, that, inadvertently. That, yeah. Or, uh, they they uh, got out of hand, you know? Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude. I don't think that shit will happen like by itself. Mm. You can't do it by dropping a cigarette. It would happen all, it would happen a long time ago. If that was the case, you know, like fire. We can live like tribesmen still, right? They're supposed they to be hunt. One, one yeah, more but, tribe but They let them live like that? Yeah, they they're, they're, be what they they're wanna be. They're protected by they are, the the country, yeah. Yeah, there are certain areas that are protected, not all yeah, of them. Not protected. everything. But they don't pay taxes? No. They don't have a lot of land. They're indigenous, so yeah, they get yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but they also have cut budgets for years have cut the deforestation budget or cut the budget again so they don't they haven't kept up the forest either which is i think why all this got out of hand but i don't know there hasn't been a lot of talk about the origin whether it is these these uh farmers like you were saying or if somebody lit it to make him yeah. look bad or they say you can see it from space yeah yeah really it's <laughs> not about one of the fires i'm breathing right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> a little a little astronaut here, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. and it burned it, it been burning for a whole year or just recently no, recently no this is the last couple of weeks the 18th i think or something like that <laughs> you know that it's been burning for 10 years <laughs> Johnny, Johnny don't know what the fuck we're talking about it because <laughs> the ammo <laughs> why not it's, it's like, like clippers yeah, no, no, he let he let like, like, go in I brazil what fuck i don't know i just like i need now, <laughs> why? Because like, what? That's not really our problem, yeah, right? It, Twenty-one million. We're not like jumping to you help know, them. Twenty-one million is not going to do anything. Dude, to do the, the Amazon shit. produces like forty percent of the <laughs> oxygen. Yeah, I mean, they, what they, oxygen? They, they, of the yeah, Earth. I know. The Earth. The Earth's oxygen. Forty percent of the oxygen from Amazon. Portion that's produced right I, I there. It, I but thought it came from seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I thought it came from those. I thought it came from those fans that he said. Call back, bro. Oxygen is given off by plants Trees, yeah. greenery it's given off by greenery but and then we breathe out co2 when we exhale oh, and damn. that helps feed the plants not just i think uh, porn hub should pay for it <laughs> 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 talking about porn hub, you guys see that porno star that did comedy last night at the comedy palace <laughs> no last no. night yeah dude you're the real porn star he's horrible looking dude. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what was his end there? He came on people's I feel like Chavago <laughs> and Jeffrey Peterson, bro, had a baby. <laughs> I, but I think that's one of those fools that did his video like you do him, and he sent it in, and they published it, and they gave him a t-shirt. Ew. Oh, yeah, supposedly that fool's packing though, dog. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it? What? What? I, I don't know. know. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> What's his name? Like uh, sa- sa- El Cajon. Sammy Sausage or something like Sammy <laughs> Saku <laughs> or something. Yeah, Sammy Saku or something like that. Pica Piedra. He's right there from San Diego. <laughs> Am I, is it true? Because I was fucking around with him. Is it true? The fucking man, i seen your film. I like your work. Oh, thanks, bro. And I'm like, is he porn? Yeah, should have with his penis or his hand? No, his hand. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you told hand. him you saw yeah, his I, film yeah, and you like his yeah, work? Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed your work, What? Man. Just to mess with him, right? Did you tell him I joined Medina? Freaking dick. So fucking. Who here? 
Sarah would go up to a porn star and say, I really like your work. If I, a male porn star. If I seen Johnny Mo- Mountain, I would tell him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's a newscaster. I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> that other fool. Oh, that guy. Is that is Ray. No, yeah. <laughs> no fag. That was his name. Ron Jeremy. I told, nah, him, nah, I told him a good job. I would tell you get a disease if you talk to him. Gross. Peter North. Yeah, Peter uh, North Peter is Nord, another yeah. guy so that I like Jeremy and Eileen. Tony Mo. I saw John, uh, Ron Jeremy across the street, and somebody drove by and just thought, well, fuck you, my little pills didn't work, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he leaves a trail like a slug, dog. Ew. Dude, Ew. when I saw He's him, nasty, so dog. much dandruff on his head. Dude. Oh, he looked disgusting, dog. Yeah, Only Velcro shoes, he doesn't tie his shoes. He does stand-up comedy, oh. right? Yeah, what's yeah, his name? Did, yeah. Dante's his manager, fool. Very so Gold Mountain artist. He'll do, like, headlining, but he'll do, like, he'll jump in on shows. He doesn't, like... I met him through oh, a special guest. Barry Sobel. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what you guys been doing lately, man? He cornered man? me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so he corners you on the street. What Johnny corners you in Portland. Uh, with uh, Barry. We did like this uh, video at the skate shop uh, two years ago. Johnny was there. Yeah, yeah, I was there. He played the harmonica for us. Uh, Remember? Who? Uh, uh, Ron Jeremy. Roger, he, played the harmonica. <laughs> he brought out the harmonica. <laughs> started playing he played with his dick, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he held us hostage with his harmonica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what are they wearing? <laughs> sweats. Same <laughs> shit. Yes. <laughs> like, I think those sweats that like uh, have buttons on the sides. Like, <laughs> step into my dojo. Like, break, yeah. like breakaway? <laughs> Breakaways, yeah. In case. I imagine his sweats yeah. have all those little pills, like pilled up fabric. Uh, nut <laughs> stains, <laughs> dude. Uh, he, just save nut stain. he probably just saved money, huh? Like, do they want to buy clothes? Yeah, what are you like, going to do with all that shit, but though? But if he was smart, he could live off all that money. He could live off of that. Yeah. I think that's what he's doing. And his appearances and stuff, if he's really cheap, he doesn't have to get a side job. But if he really had a real lifestyle and a home and like a family or whatever, he'd have to have a second job. Yeah, he takes the soaps from the uh, hotel. Yeah, he's like that. He does those porn conventions or like those uh, convention shits. Sometimes, make money, but yeah. you have to pay money to have the oh. booth. You know, he's one of those guys that doesn't Anybody have to pay out. Anybody can get a booth, out. not yeah. You, yeah, yeah, fucking. It takes money to make we, money. We were in a comic yeah. car. There were people that were just like, they would have lived on one thing, huh? Yeah, like if I would have fucking lived in Texas and I had those, those two commercials, Audi and the McDonald's, I would have fucking had a booth. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sure people would have taken pictures of me because, oh, that's, that's, that's the, the uh, McDonald's guy. <laughs> Bear, scream. <laughs> <laughs> there's, the, there's the kid. <laughs> yeah. For reals, man. This fool was saying that the Quesadillas should do it, dog. They should. Hey, dude, he should. You will make money. Dude, if fucking Damien Chavez. All I'm going to do is sit down and put that photo of the, that little like Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and that Your photo grandma, f- from from, a, from fucking uh, Miami, Goodfellas, Goodfellas, and that the photo wedding singer, wedding singer bro. Boom. yeah, three movies. That's oh, it, bro. Shit. Uh, uh, we're all and then that Stop. photo with the, with uh, MC Pancho eating at his house. Yeah, <laughs> hey, uh, this is MC. Pancho. That's all you need, right? That's all you need, bro. And people fucking eat it up, man. That's all you fool, need. Fool, how about we just make fucking Johnny that fool, dog? Yeah, <laughs> he got some yeah. surgery. Got Guess what? We we'll get, we'll get the money. Oh, Don't shit. shave your head, dog. <laughs> I got wool over my. That, that's all you need. Yeah, uh, you guys been traveling. Huh? But it's quick picture. money, right, for those people? Oh Come yeah, dude, grab. just pictures. Remember four fifty. There he is, Johnny, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, this is a film uh, with my uh, father-in-law in the movie. Uh, this is me. Hey, that was funny how in Godfather, like he's telling her that that's the love of his life. <laughs> And, and then like the fucking other dude takes her huh? and he just fuck moves just, back dude Johnny you can do it that well he was threatening to kill her if he didn't pay her the, the money you guys should be together bro the movies that's me and that's Johnny <laughs> <laughs> driving yeah, I used to be a big guy now I'm a smaller guy you that's know? us driving to the open mic hey Johnny <laughs> I'm shaking my head who got the clippers que tiene los clippers oh shit I need a cut too you know that's John yeah. out there all sad picking hey, up Chepel. I forget his name. What's Frank his name? Severo. S- Severo. Severo. Hey, uh, I'm making uh, this is my beautiful little sister. Dude, uh, he was so funny and fucking the wedding oh, singer. Oh, he killed that movie, <laughs> oh dog. Really? Yes, he was, fool. Dude, watch he was it again, great. dog. Was, it's a badass movie with that fool, he dog. Was, he's funny, any, dog. No, 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 not one word he said in that movie. Kiss at each. Hey, Felipe. <laughs> uh, I need to borrow some extra virgin olive oil. I don't want to be known as a brother-in-law to the local nutcase. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crazy people. Oh yeah, we yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know he sued the Simpsons for them stealing his character. His he didn't win, right? dog. He didn't win. No, dog. <laughs> it looks just like him. And that's why Sam Simon's in the fucking casket. <laughs> that's Johnny using Which my one, bro. This one. That one. <laughs> that's, Johnny, that's him. Fool. Yeah. <laughs> that's Johnny using my jacket right there. The <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, you left it in the car for a day. <laughs> yeah, but he can make some serious money, huh? <laughs> it was those edibles, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I ate them. <laughs> was that food also in um, any other stuff with those, besides the three movies? Hey, um, yeah, it's dude. Hey, happy stuff. days, dog. These you don't remember the happy uh, days, fool? Oh, dude, that nerd. Yeah, dog. With the, he in, plays that nerd with the glasses. Yeah, yeah. and he has the NY in the, the Yankee hat. Yeah, I'm I bad. seen that rerun. I mean, I didn't understand what he said back then myself. Guess at each. And Mr. Mayor, he killed it in Happy Days, man. Yeah, he killed it in Sanford and Sundog. Yeah, and he was a good stand up comedian. He was fuck funny, yeah, dude. Funny as fuck, dude. What's the name discovered him, though? Who did? Fred Sanford. Uh, Mr. Meow, what's his real name? Fucking. Pat Marino. Pat fuck. Marino, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Who was the yeah. Sanford and Sun first. Happy in Days, Sanford and Sun. Um, and then. Oh, he his name was Arnold on Happy Days. Yeah, he, he was a comedian from uh, San Francisco. That's his. Uh, he okay. started in San Francisco. Who, Pat Marino? Pat Marino, yeah. Well, that was the whole city's uh, even before that. We had to kick out a couple of comedians out of San Jose Improv, bro. Just standing there watching the whole show. Fucking clean, oh, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing here, man? I'm learning, oh, bro. I'm, I'm a regular comic. No, there's nothing, there's nothing to learn, man. Go hang out with your boys. <laughs> you never heard of? <laughs> Uh-huh. Never heard of him. I remember. No, no. I remember when we did San Jose a long time ago, and that one big comedian, Big Warm, was out there, right oh, there by the stage. The burritos. And then you told him to go <laughs> walk out as you. Remember? And people were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> he did not get that fat, dude. I seen a lady say he did not get that fat because <laughs> <laughs> he had the other guy pretend it was. Yeah, long hair. Yeah, he was walking out with super humongous. People were like, "What?" People are yeah, like, "Those fools that are like so fat that they have long hair, but it's thin." Yeah, people are clapping and they stop because they're like, "What yeah, the fuck?" Like, what? <laughs> did he just were, swallow were, Felipe? Big worm went up there and they were clapping like all happy. They start feeling sorry for me. Yeah. <laughs> imagine their concern claps. You put Tahito and Felipe and eat them. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He <laughs> well, I, I shouldn't clap obesity. Yeah, because it was a big old fat lady that said, oh my God, he did not get that fat. And then fucking after. Uh, like a bus driver lady. Then Felipe came on and everybody died. Oh my God. <laughs> you, you guys thought I let myself go, oh, huh? Uh, psych. <laughs> Yeah. But what the fuck was he doing there, bro? Eating, I don't, that, that's like no respect to the game, bro. Like you wouldn't do that for other other comedians. Wait right there in the green by the fucking stage where the comedian had ready to go up. You see how big he is? He probably couldn't move. His, his ankles were so. <laughs> well, I'll just he wait got... to see you if I was like that, and I'll just give you a fat ass bomb joint and walk away. Yeah. I know, man. Enjoy your stay in San Jose, Quesadilla. Each if you want to get drop kicked <laughs> <laughs> to the chest. Oh man, what's up? What's so up, what's bro? up? How was? Portland. I, I, I didn't know John, uh, Johnny was going. These little world Neither travelers. Neither did I. Oh, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? I thought no, we all no. planned out. No, 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 no. It was alone, bro. Let him breathe, dog. It was, uh, we uh, we celebrated two years anniversary, me and Stephanie. Uh, we got, we uh, stayed at the Alphabet District. Johnny said, me and my girlfriend are celebrating two years anniversary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two weeks, two weeks. We should have a blow up, dog. Hey. Uh, we stayed at the, it's funny because like, because like, I'm such an LA guy, I was just comparing. LA football club. Yeah, I'm there. Was, Fernando Mania over there. I'm, I'm all LA, bro. Yeah. LA Metro. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I love Pomona, though. Yeah. The Los Angeles <laughs> Angels of Anaheim. Oh! I was, I was comparing fucking uh, Portland to fucking like LA. I was like, man, this is fucking Altadino, man. Uh, Uptown Whittier. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is fucking La Cañada right here, man. Ah, Montrose. Yeah, why the fuck did we go over here? <laughs> But it Portland? was cool. Portland yeah. is not La Cañada. Come on. Uh, uh, the part we <laughs> went to, dude. Yeah. The part we went to. Remember where the Goonie like goony ship was? Oh. And all that stuff? Like, no, no, it was he cool. He went to the place where they had the Goonie ships. Oh, yeah. The Goonie ships? Yeah. The uh, Goonie Cannon, House, right? Cannon Beach, yeah. Oh, man, I want to go there. There's a oh, badass strip club in Portland, dog. Uh, we didn't go. The vegan one? <laughs> <laughs> the vegan one? Uh, they <laughs> wink at you over there. Yeah, Lisa told me about the. We're going to go to. next. Next time we go to Portland, it's a vegan um, strip club. Strip club. Strip it's club, called yeah. Diablos, I think. Yeah, her vagina Casa made a tempe. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell <Tempe>. Diablo. <laughs> but it was, dude, I didn't realize how fucking small uh, Portland is because we walked from uh, downtown to our Airbnb and it was like only like fucking a mile from fucking downtown. It's so small and it's all just surrounded by woods. But we had a lot of fucking uh, good food out there. Yeah, everything centered around the, the bridges and the water yeah. and everything, the waterway. And then after that, uh, yeah. What'd you have, vegan barbecue? Yeah, we had vegan barbecue with Johnny. Yeah. And his sister at, uh, what's that place called? Homegrown? And then the next door, there's like this, the only panaderia in fucking Portland. Right was it there. legit? It was legit, bro. It was fucking like actual fucking like, there's like nothing but hipsters eating at that place. Like it was like legit, like ghetto Mexican Could restaurant. Can I get a, a Maria Conchita Alonso? <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, man. I liked it. We stayed at this cool Airbnb. That was your first time there? Uh, was it a house or apartment? It was a condo. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Because you guys, the fucking owner, didn't stay there in the side? No, no, no. Fuck. Thank yeah. God, Dude, man. I look oh my like Tono Clipper. Did you guys see it? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Berman, 
bring this up for people out there who order Airbnb. Read everything before you say yes to the Airbnb. There's a lot of taxes. There's a lot of taxes. There's a lot of fucking rules. And, and, and some of these rules, you just like, you don't want those rules. Like um, Birdman, he already got one where they have to be in by 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 11 on Friday, on Thursdays. Oh, I know. Well, every, every night. Like every night. O'clock. And it was in Brooklyn, which in means Brooklyn. they have to leave Manhattan by 10. I thought it was a city that never sleeps. At 10.30. But it was, it but the problem yeah. was it wasn't a, he chose the cheapest option, which is what Martin and Johnny were renting out, which is a room inside your apartment. Yeah. So he rented out a room inside an apartment with, with his, his cousin. cousin, his female cousin. <laughs> so uh, I think he slept on the floor and she slept on the bed in there. What am I going to do with this hard on? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then um, uh, that's why they had the rules because those people had to work the next day or something. Did you guys have rules? When you no, 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 no. It was just me and her. No and filming. No filming. Yeah. No Johnny. <laughs> but we didn't no, know. I mean, when you guys rented out your <laughs> oh. room, did you have rules for the tenant? No, we, no, no, we should have, have, but yeah. nah. yeah, I'll be out if they go no farting. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was crazy when we airbnb the fucking room because like me and johnny cleaned the room and i remember like the other room and he took a picture of the like it looked like a fucking like they held hostages <laughs> why what up all, they just all the dirt marks all the dirt on the wall. old curtains so oh I went, in la right yeah, here so oh, yeah. Yeah. when they were leaving it. so i went to go buy new curtains new sheets for the bed and for made what? it look for the airbnb room and oh, like look okay. way nicer than it did before and then, uh, yeah, man, it's it didn't last long. Oh, no. Use your shit kickers to walk in there, though. <laughs> you got to rinse it out ever? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. People came through. I, I read the reviews. People are happy. They're like, yeah, it's a good place to put your head. It, it's wow. a good place to hide. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was okay with it. You didn't tell him. We didn't tell shit. Uh. You didn't tell him that there was somebody like <laughs> somebody got kicked no, out. This, this, this was doing the Airbnb from the guy they were renting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah. The play with Eventually, well, that's why he got kicked out. No, nah, no, no. Nah, he got nah, kicked out. Because nah. that guy was on board, too. That fool was collecting most of the money. Oh. No, he got kicked out because uh, the roommate, he was uh, he didn't like that Johnny... Uh, Told him to clean, clean up. Clean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was the last straw. He's a dirty ass fool, huh? Yeah, we're gonna we're we're talking about tying him up and cleaning in front of him. No! <laughs> <laughs> don't vacuum! <laughs> People that don't clean, though, dog. Yeah, dude. It's not in my constitution. Uh, dirty motherfucker. Yeah. yeah Daniel, fuck What's you. up, fool? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? I'm going to be in Arlington, Virginia at D.C. area. Arlington Draft House. This is the, the comedy club that's also a movie theater during the day. So you can watch like old movies for like 10 bucks, buy a beer and watch the movie. Get up. Oh. And they, Actually, you could have your own picture of beer here. So if anybody out there who has never been to like a place like this that want to come to the show in D.C., it would be a nice experience, man. I don't know. Because of this weekend. I said put it down on that side. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to keep talking about Arlington because okay. I'm going to on a roll here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so September 20th to the 21st, okay? Now we're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> this this week. weekend, I'll be in Philadelphia. Helium Comedy Club, August 30th to the September 1st. Tijuana, Mexico, September 4th at Antigua Bodega de Papel. Sí, güey. Clásico. We'll wey. be there, man. We'll, we'll eating tacos. I'll be, mine will be vegan. <laughs> also, Lancaster, California. Lancaster Performing Arts Center, Antelope Valley Comedy Festival, September 7. Almost sold out. This is a good show. If you guys are part of the La Lancaster Comedy Festival, if you buy a ticket for my show, that ticket will get you in free to all the other shows you want to go to, and you can vote on the people you want to win this comedy contest. We're... Rooting for um, Jose Villasenor, is his name? No, Jose. Luis, Luis, Luis Villasenor. Villasenor. Luis. Shout out to Luis Villasenor. <laughs> He's been in this contest every fucking Jose. year. Yeah. Yeah. Jose Luis. 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 What's the name of Luis Villasenor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luis he has been in this contest like Jose. the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. He was in Reno. He didn't win. So, um, so hopefully, man, we can help him win. We could, give him a, we, we, could, we could give him a guest spot, and you guys could just vote for him. Even, don't even go to the show. Just vote for him. Hell yeah. There you go. If you just want to get this guy to win. He needs to take these bad. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, if we're going to help him win, we don't get a cut? What the fuck you want to no. give us, bro? <laughs> <laughs> they told him he like, needs to give him one GA. I remember when I first met Luis Villasenor. I saw him then, bro. You're like a clean Benny man now. <laughs> <laughs> like a... <laughs> Where does he live? I, the I. Oh, e, he right? lives IE, yeah. Straight up IE. That's why he's running remember, the Pachanga Comedy Club. Because I remember we were doing the. Um, I went to Liam's one time. 
The only time I went, because that shit was yeah. fucking far, bro. Oh, yeah. Far for 150 bucks. Mm. <laughs> and I saw Luis Villasenor showed up with um, Carlos Loma, comedian from the IE, also Pomona. And they have backpacks, like Willie Barcena, bro, like brand new ones. Like a Willy Barcena said, you guys need backpacks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need shoulder backpacks. The so they came in there with their notes and their backpacks, you know, like the side bags, right? Like a, like a, like a mail bag. And they, they both had one. A and satchel. A <laughs> satchel. And they came in, and they were the only ones with a bar that actually like had jokes to write on or paper. Oh, professional. And I'm, and, and I'm looking at it going, man, Good that shit ain't going to work here. <laughs> unless, you, unless you have a gun inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's motherfucker. oh, speaking of Willie Barcena, bro. We're, we're update. Update, man. What happened, Willie? What happened, bro? Well, sources say that... Um, <laughs> on ABC News with Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Rodrigo yeah, Cronkite, eh? No, yeah, no, that, that's yeah. a segment uh, here, though. Rodrigo News. <laughs> so, word on the street. <laughs> All right, I've tapped four sources. Two sources don't want to speak. Not on the condition of anonymity, but on the condition of, I guess I don't have anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> and two other sources. Well, I don't know. A little bird told me. Eh? <laughs> so he got arrested at the airport. Dog. Oh, they were waiting oh, for him. El Paso? Yeah, yeah, they got him at the airport. You think somebody, somebody that, that was a victim might have found out they were going to be there and called somebody? I think they got too cocky, and then he like advertised like a month before, and they calculated it. He was on know, the, we got to get him. Just but, isn't that like, but do you think I don't they're think, actually looking for him? I really don't. Somebody told him he's I coming. think that uh, we I think I think I think that in the in the, the way that shit went I down. Think, yeah, they're like, hey man, you guys ain't doing nothing. It's already been two months, and then like he's been there like twice, that. and he's coming, man. He so he's like, been there before. Yeah, two yeah. times yeah. before this yeah, you time. Yeah, think about it. They promote so, uh, the radio, too. So he gets you know? arrested. Yeah, but I don't think the cops no. are thinking, oh, that's or, the guy we've been waiting well, for. Well, <laughs> maybe he shouldn't have called his tour the Teflon Don tour. Yeah. <laughs> he did? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped out again, dog. You got to do it like, uh, you know, like fucking the killer Bundy. You got to get go and sneak out through the air conditioning. Uh, so he gets arrested, and then the comic that was uh, with him supposedly put up his house and uh, <laughs> Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a name, man. Eh? Weekly. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what do you mean, wait? Hold on. <laughs> I thought he, delay. I thought. Over. I, I thought the, the person you're talking about owned his house and his mom in the back. No, no. Well, the person that got arrested, that seems to be the case, but I guess that's not the case because he didn't put his house up. The other comic put his house up for him, but the thing is, Willie's not returning phone calls to yeah. another comedian that's going to be working with him soon. Because he's out on the lam, or he's actually incarcerated because he doesn't want to run on homeboy's bail. So I mean, this is again allegedly. So you can't sue us. You got to sue NBC. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's going on. Weekly update. Word with, on oh, the street. Damn, man! Imagine you're that comedian that had to. Um, and that's from two sources. Post of your Three house sources. to build out Willie Barcelona. I would not do what? that. What? Yeah. How that's many people do you think he can really call to ask for a favor like that? I don't think he knows anybody's number. Someone must just volunteer that yeah, shit. Yeah, because his mom probably told him to go to hell, huh? I don't think there's one comic that you know that would do that, right? I would do it for anybody. That's mm -hmm. a surprise. Bro, man. I would do it for my family. You got to take it like a The only way I would do that, if it, his mom stayed at my house, and that fool skips, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you have some collateral there. Yeah, his mom is going to get beat <laughs> down. Ghetto collateral. <laughs> he don't show up. But if he's serving the time right now, or he's say he's like locked up right now, mm -hmm. and he gets busted for assault or aggravated assault or whatever it was, the guy that took pictures of his markings, you know, the victim, so to speak, I think the most thing he can probably get is what? A week? 60 days? That's nothing. What I think. That's what I'm or wondering. nothing. First time offender in Texas. Yeah, they yeah. can't bring the old stuff from California no. to, that, right. to that case. That's what I'm wondering. It's not a federal case. No. Hopped into those bars. It's, like it's just a headache. That's it. And it yeah. goes a little bit deeper than that. Oh, oh, deeper God, what? Because uh, you guys know that Bart <laughs> Reed's uh, son was in law school, right? When oh, he was working at the, at the club? Yeah. yeah. Well, Bart Reed's son's a prosecutor now. So maybe Ooh. he's giving him some info inside information on how to fight or to lay low and we'll you know, watch this over. But who knows? That's he's probably an, in an, intro an in introductory uh, prosecutor prosecutor not on the high level you know but who knows you know mm. i don't know but how <laughs> how common that was the how, music yeah that was uh, yeah, the street. what's a full update yeah go ahead oh no how common are those bar fights in el paso common. People well, didn't you, get you're bored that way dog that's yeah. why i'm saying nobody's waiting for him at the Pull, hey willie's at this like, hey bro 
Dude, am I a shooter or what, that's bro? What, yeah. that's, that's what bringing back what happened at that Walmart, but there's more serious stuff saying. they're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Hey, bro, I they're threw, gonna sweat a comedian. I threw a little nice elbow, bro. Times. Right. <laughs> so he's an, hey, bro, he stole. Unless he was bragging, but I don't think he was bragging. Nah, fool, you know how that fool is, dog. Bro. No, but I think. And then that fool got, you know. I think somebody called and said he was gonna be there because nobody, no cops are going. We're gonna catch, get on this. It's really like that lady that I was talking about. It'll probably the opener that that comedian who put the bill replaced. I don't know what that means. Another conspiracy. Theory. I'm looking sir, for you, bro. I remember. Call up, how about Nick? He don't know shit. I call both of those fools up, and they, they they're acting dumb, dog. Oh no, I didn't hear about that. I got strep throat. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I was like, "Yeah, right." What happened, dog? bro? I remember, like, I guess after like a fan listened to like the podcast about me talking about Willie, and then somebody messaged Willie. I showed you the message. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody, yeah, yeah. somebody messaged Willie. Hey, bro. Uh, Martin Rizzo's coming for you. <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah. I got mad. I, and then he's like, "I'm just kidding. I'm a big fan, man. Keep it up, bro." And then he sent me that the screenshot. Hey, bro, what the fuck is this? You're talking shit, I'm like, bro. You don't understand right. how the fucking internet you're works. Sending like, your friends after me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm younger than your kids. You're gonna beat me up, bro. <laughs> Fine. I, I have it still, dude. Oh, we we'll keep talking. I don't <laughs> find it. But yeah, that's what I was thinking about. When the guy put his house up, I don't understand that because how much could that bail have been? Yeah, I think he probably uh, probably ten thousand dollars, and he put it down a thousand, and then Willie's probably Damn. staying in jail to get that jail credit. That's what I think. We mean jail credit. To get knocked off. Yeah. So when you get sentenced, sentence, say yeah. he give you twenty days, bro. I've been here twenty six. You guys owe me six days, bro. Simple mathematics, bro. <laughs> Wow, that's um. <laughs> Funny drama though, huh? Paul? But that that means that but he said that would, that would mean he was saying no to bail. No, well, to at least take bail Damn. and like get out and then just I mean I don't know what the fuck. So, that's it's it's chaotic, bro. Man, what? Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a message. Yeah, it's, it's pretty threatening, though. Fuck, he could go to jail for that, dog. Yeah. He could go to Facebook jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook jail. <laughs> 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 How much is the bail, Mr. Zuck? Want to read it? Read it. Oh, you want to read it? Here, I'll, I'll read it. I wonder if you could scam him oh, yeah. for Facebook jail. Like, Fuck that. Listen, hey, hey, see listen, if you could charge him. Hey, let's send him a spray, Eddie. <laughs> 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 so that's him right there talking shit, and he sends me the screenshot. All right. He's saying his voice. <laughs> Why is one of your friends talking shit to me, bro? <laughs> what the friend. fuck is up with that shit, bro? <laughs> this is uh, Mrs. Mrs. Y. We're not going to out her. Uh-huh. Um, Martin Rizzo is gonna take your place in the <laughs> Latin his motherfucking panic Chicano a comedy world. Your comedy is getting old. Hey, bro, baby doll, you're confused. No, I added that part. <laughs> <laughs> and then Miss White puts, but I'm pretty sure your sons can beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy that throws this the famous. Is just fucking with him. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then the you guy that throws the famous elbows from Cali, from L.A. Yeah. to El Paso, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> he says. And then, and then, then he says to you on the text. Do we have a problem I didn't know about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know, dog? They just told you it. <laughs> Fans don't know what to say to other comedians, bro. Nah. When it comes to stuff like that. That's all convoluted, they just say it's funny. They just don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> I remember I had to follow, um, I don't know if it's Willie Wood from the hood, but not the one from the Willie Willie Wood in the in Inland Empire. The, the real other one. one. The, the original one. The tall one. Yeah, the, yeah. the scary Willie, one. Willie. Uh, Willie. The, the little guy was Willie. Yeah, so Willie rocked it, bro. Little Willie. No, no, no. Willie Brown is the name, no? Yeah, he, he Willie Brown. He the rocked. original. I went up after him, right? And then, like, of course, he killed it. And they had just turned off the Laker game. So this fucking chola, she doesn't like my jokes, bro. And she wearing all laker out, bro. Like, she's about to sleep with a towel boy from the Laker, from the <laughs> forum. And then she's yelling out shit. And like, hey, man, you lost, Holmes. <laughs> and she didn't know how to say I suck. You're not, <laughs> You're not fucking funny. Get the fuck out of here. Like, she was open mic and heckling, bro. Like, it was the first time heckling, and she didn't know what to say. So, but she was annoying me anyways, though. You, hey, hey man, you're done, Holmes. <laughs> man, you you're lost, done. eh? That other guy beat you, eh? I would have waterboarded <laughs> like that fat The other guy beat you, eh? <laughs> that is so funny. I would waterboard that chick with a schooner, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to, yeah. You lost. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and, 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 there was no competition. I don't know the stage. That is there was no competition, bitch. You win, eh? <laughs> and then like they be, they're more confusing her ass too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but you, they kicked her ass out, dog. 
That's so stupid. She said, I'm going to get my homies to kill you and shoot your ass. Hey. And you're going to lose for real. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive, dog. <laughs> so stupid. Man, it's been, so they started like bagging on her hard and they kicked her ass out. And she was outside waiting for like 30 minutes. Then they started to just get in her car and go home and kiss her kids in the forehead and say goodnight. One of those fat cholas with a dirty house. Though. They don't know how to yeah. socialize, huh? No, she was, she was, she was chab, chubby, but she was with a bunch of dudes. And I guess she was getting all the attention. But then it was all gone once real talent went up on stage. <laughs> but that was funny, man. You lost. Dude. He beat you. <laughs> it's just ghetto people like that. And they go, what did he beat me at, bitch? <laughs> and she goes, like, what? Fucking you? Uh, <laughs> he, he, I lose. They're forfeit. <laughs> but yeah, man, I got it. I got ugly. You lost, bro. <laughs> you lost. Like if she works like at a restaurant, the the car gets this. Gets oh, the line. You lost right the, now. But <laughs> Terano was giving me props in Oxnard when I was opening up for a fluffy, and then that fool was like, "Dog, you killed it, homie. You should have been the main liner." The main <laughs> air. <laughs> The mainliner, bro. Instead of headliner, the mainliner was the guy who walks in the <laughs> fucking prison like when, and nobody fucks with him. That's the main vein, dog. The mainliner's <laughs> in your vein, too. Yeah, yeah man. So. What's up, fool? We got distracted, but I'm coming back to <laughs> Las Vegas, <laughs> Treasure Island, September 13th, Sacramento, the Crest Theater, September 14th, Cabazon, California. Um, this show is almost sold out. Morongo Casino, September 15th. El Paso, Texas. We're going to go watch um, <laughs> Willie Barcena on Core TV. We're going to watch the arrangement. The live, the live. September 27th at the Play Plaza Theater. Corpus Christi, <laughs> Texas, September 28th at Selena Auditorium, American Bank Center. Los Angeles, <laughs> Microsoft Theater, hey, October 4th. Hey, bro, tell your leader, do me a fundraiser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to get Willie doing community <laughs> service on stage for hours. <laughs> I'm not sure, bro. <laughs> Nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> man, wh whoever built him out, man, man, I hope that fool is very appreciative of doing of him doing that, but that's the goddamn, bro. Oh, put him that's a big one, man. Pretty sure he has a lot of fans out there that will bail him out, dude. I doubt it. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you, don't <laughs> you never know, bro. A drunk guy, yeah. Lenny Dykstra got somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah OJ. They, they both got somebody to lay up. That's what I'm hoping for, man. One day, man, if your <laughs> shit don't go down, I'm going to leave it in somebody's backyard, bro. <laughs> the blind guy from do a little backyard comedy show for him. <laughs> pull out some you're going to do a little Joey Medina, eh? <laughs> 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 pull out some old email for something. You said, I'll show up whenever <laughs> I'm in <laughs> You said, man, I, you said I have three extra rooms in Lancaster. <laughs> well, according to this document. I should probably know people who, who actually email me and say, man, you know, man, because I know you guys are, I know you guys are coming to Chicago, man, and we have two extra rooms you and know, Dorio can have. Imagine, bro. We <laughs> like should do a show, bit by a bit show though, where we actually took out their offer, bro. We, that was something we pitched, <laughs> and, a and show no, like that. that but when I show up to their house... And they just start farting, walking in my underwear. Right, like you, you actually take them Clog up the on the toilet, their, huh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you show up on and take them up on their offer. That's a good. Like you get a lot of. Isn't that a good show? I we pitched that. Instead show of a hotels, times. you just say a fan's house. So John, you're quiet over here, bro. Not everywhere, but what happened? You're breathing uh, on the mic. I'm over here in the I'm island. No, I'm trying to listen. <laughs> Land of misfit toys over there. <laughs> what happened over there, bro? What's wrong? But what a long face. I'm trying to think about these fans inviting you guys over. <laughs> no fans inviting me over. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I get invited. I invite myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have to call the cops on this guy. Man, we, we, we were Toby Hicks. Oh, it's blessed to be out here in McAllen. And oh, I needed this. Oh, it's crazy <laughs> out here. You got delayed, how fool? What happened, man? I don't know what happened. If I can, uh, no, we no, you two were delayed. working on the plane. The working on the plane. connecting flight. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, my God. Like two hours. You're like Joe Diaz, American, come on. I, I'm, dude, I gotta, yeah, I gotta be chill. But then I was going, dude, if this shit gets delayed like that other time, we're gonna have to drive. What do you mean you're gonna drive? <laughs> it's seven hours from here. You ain't gonna make no show. You guys drove uh, through the snow. No, we went, yeah, tornado. Well, uh, tornado. From, tornado. from uh, Austin to Houston. So then uh, we hop, uh, the ladies all check it out. If that one doesn't come through and gets um, canceled, I'm gonna put you on a 408 flight, and that'll get you there about half hour before your show. Fuck. I'm all cool. And then she's all, "Excuse me, Mr. Um, Rizzo." Yeah. And she looked him up as Mr. Herrera. Uh huh. It's nice to know you have another name. I've always had two yeah, names. Yeah, fucking alias. Mar yeah. Herrera Rizzo. Yeah. Yeah, I already knew that, and I, I asked, didn't know that. I, asked I didn't him, know that. I knew that because I filled so, out his tax paperwork. But I, when I, uh, 
when I asked him, what should I book you under? He said Martin Rizzo because my ID says Martin Rizzo. It's always Rizzo. Yeah, so, they put, my name is Larry, but they said they need to have it Lawrence. But. Lawrence. Well, that was be, that was a stupid person who didn't know that Larry was a nickname uh, for Lawrence. Yeah, but she was she was at a, she, she was at the just, airport this weekend too. Yeah, oh, that was the same. <laughs> <laughs> it was, that lady was <laughs> dumb, dude. Yeah. And then I was like, dude, I'm going. I'm like. All right, fuck it, dude. They, so he has to go to ticketing. I'm like, just use my credit card. And I was like, you know what? All right, fuck it. Just call Lisa real quick. What did I tell her? What did I tell her? I Get on the phone oh. and just tell her Luckily what's going on. Luckily, I was on. home yeah. and I could take care of it. And, uh, but it, what's crazy, though, is it's, it, there was not, it was not possible. And I kept asking the woman. I said, how is this possible? This is the second leg of one exactly. set of flights. He that already I got here. It's one That's confirmation right. number. Yeah, exactly. I That's from all. the fucking no, no, pass. No, 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 pass. No, no. Yeah, it, it, she like, told me. It's that, She told me it does have the same confirmation number, but it's saying not paid. That it should, it should matter. I'm all, I'm, and I'm my all, whole thing is, how did it get to point A to exactly. point B? It's one yeah. ticket it's like, it's like, price. It, I mean, it's pay. one price I pay. That I, lady's so <laughs> dumb. Like, I was I said, ready. I, said, <laughs> I, bu- I said, I booked all those guys' flights the same way. There's no, It's not possible. Don't, she it, said, that's how it is, ma'am. And I said, what? That lady's dumb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Connecting <laughs> flight. I never... That, yeah. yeah, how but the fuck did they go through the security? I know, but immediately after I bought... But immediately after I bought the new flight... Mr. Herrera. I bought the new leg of the the flight. Uh-huh. She told Martin, "Oh, I found you here, or whatever." Yeah, because she, I think she saw the confirmation. She saw that yeah. the confirmation was updated. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Fuck was that? Did it? That was me. But what happened? The lady when we yeah. checked in this, and at the hotel last night, she kept playing with her credit card. Your car's being denied. What uh-huh. seems to be the problem? I too quiet. What did I, I, I did? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna get a soda. <laughs> you don't wash your hands, dog. dog. I came back. She said, "Oh, I figured it out." Where was it, this? It, it's already paid for. Where was this? In San Diego last night. The Marriott. I, I figured it out. It's already paid for. Okay, good job. Oh man, that's the best way to handle hey, that. And they should make you manager. <laughs> I said, "Wait a minute." I tell him, "Go get a soda." <laughs> that's. These people are too much. For them. I know. But see, my whole thing is like, all right, what if that's the case? We got to solve it oh, before we dope. take off, dude. What am I gonna do? You know, bro. and it's like <laughs> my whole thing. What if we miss the fucking show, dog? And it's like, oh my god, and there's three of us here. Time to call people from McAllen. Oh, oh that's what I was saying. Yeah. Huh. But you know what? Luckily, you were delayed because I mean, Ugh. because of that issue. Because we would have had, had it. You yeah. only had forty minutes. Yeah, it would have popped up. Both yeah. of and that would have delayed you <laughs> not yeah. getting on the flight or nothing. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, I'm over here like thinking about, all right, dude, let me just go get a rental and shit. And it's like <laughs> it's seven hours from here. The lady says it's eight. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, relax. We're gonna get there, dog. So Even if I have to steal a plane, eh? Toby, Toby just wants to go home and get paid to- for the second <laughs> show. I'm like, fuck, dude. It's because it, it shit pops up, dog, and you got to adapt, dog. You if you don't do it quick, it dude. Yeah. And then we're on the runway. We're not always going to have Lisa on the phone, like, to be all like, I was you know? Lucky. I almost was at the bank. I you know what I mean? It's like, later, fuck, dude. Like, then it's like, you're going to call this fool? What? He doesn't know what's fucking cracking. Uh-huh. And we got to solve it, dog. If not, what the fuck, dude? And then we're on the runway for a long time, too, yeah, dude. man. You on the runway also for a long time? Yeah, 25 minutes, dog. Again, that was another delay. So we got there. We just we went straight to the went straight um, to yeah, and then Toby had to go shower. It's like fool. You're a toothpick dog. You have no hair. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you have no I can't be on stage smelling like this. You go shower with a wet rag, bro. Yeah. I'm good. You shower in the sink. Just yeah. <laughs> No hair, yeah, bro. What are you talking about? You biting your nails? Oh, yeah. Oh, you God. gotta put polish. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, How they gonna take you serious? Like, that's why you ain't married. <laughs> he said. Because <laughs> he bites his fingernails. <laughs> he said, you know, he told me I need to get a manicure, so I yeah. won't bite my uh, fingernails. Because yeah. they put on this little polish on there. You gonna bite it. It's gonna taste nasty. That and you ain't gonna bite them again. No, though. it's only like, I mean, I know a lot of brothers get it done and they go get manicure. Yeah. You know, they have nice long nails, but you know, you got little itty bitty hands. So those hands should Stay how they are. He they nervous. Yeah, it. those are like for action figures in, <laughs> in chips. Oh, and take them. Yeah, this is a cool Dude, little handful. Uh, Toby has like high etiquette though. Like, it's symmetrical. It's not like, like you can't you can't cough at the table. You can't oh. sneeze. Oh, you gonna sneeze? Well, he's raised <laughs> by a grand, he's raised by a grandmother though. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> his, what happened. His yeah. immune are <laughs> his immune system low, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dropped it. <laughs> you know, sit in my food. Fool, we were at a new <laughs> hotel, dude, and I dropped like three M and M's, and I picked them up and ate. He's like, I can't believe you just did. <laughs> his immune system won't be able to take it. He'll die. <laughs> well, I don't. I adapt, dog. I don't give a fuck. My grandma. I acclimate, bro. Growing up. You drop three M&M's, my dad would try to pick that shit up and eat it right away. 
Levanta los pies. Any, any, anything, bro. I dropped the ice cream, bro. You cut the, the part that yeah. hit the ground. People yeah, are like, oh, it's a three second rule. I don't give a fuck how many seconds. But <laughs> I'm not going to be at a party and eat an eight clear off the trash can, bro. <laughs> like George Costanza. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it depends on how big that eight yeah. clear is. Though. I've done that before, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they caught you? 70 comments. Cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at a restaurant. Yeah. Like at your house? I, yeah. at, her, at her house. I remember. Oh. It was like a donut. Uh. It, was, it, was, it was the same. It It's not bad. That that donut could be inside of a new donut box oh, untouched. It was a fucking plastic. It, it was a ter- to Hawaii. It was a tiramisu. That's what it was. And tiramisu? it was above. Yeah, it was yeah. tiramisu. Here, <laughs> it was above what? It was like inside a wrapper, so yeah. I just got out of trash. And she's like, "What are you eating my trash?" I'm like, <laughs> well, one time uh, I it was, was good work, though. It was good. Dude, bro. I work at the restaurant called Jose's dog, and they had those uh the uh, those uh camarones de la diabla, yeah. and they had them al, al mojo diajo. Some lady ate one dog, and they come with twenty five. Well, I had twenty four that day. Yeah. I ate them. She left it right there. You ate yeah, like Peter Chan? Yeah, no, I just fucking took it to the back, fool. Forget that shit off. Hell yeah. Oh, man. I had that fool no. put some more sauce on him for me. Didn't you say that um, what do you do, somebody man? complained at, Ch- at um, Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, because they, you know how you, when, when we're thing. at a party and then we eat our pizza and then we leave the pizza behind and they found out that somebody got a leftover pizza and made a. Made a they gave him a puzzle oh, cause, pizza. Cause the and they drizzle is, cheese over there, and make it look yeah. confusing. Just cover it up with cheese on top. Pizza. If you, if you go to, but never get it. Wait a minute, man. I got a diamond slice. <laughs> These things don't make sense. If you go to, these ain't symmetrical. I got a hexagon here. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to Chuck E. Cheese, the pizzas never uh, the pieces never match up, and people are saying that oh, maybe fucking they just get like leftover pizzas they make over <laughs> pizza. Yeah. And there's video of people going to fucking Chuck E. Cheese, and they're like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? And they came out with the same and saying that they use that one fucking uh, pizza cutter that one's kind of like a yeah. yeah, it's like a rocking one, yeah. but, right? but that they yeah. cut it before they bake the fucking pizza when it's still doughy. So it's like, why the fuck do you cut it like that? So it's just That's perforated. And you what are you yeah. doing at fucking Chuck E. Cheese anyways with a little ass hand? <laughs> I have nieces and nephews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was, that was, the first time Chuck E. Cheese bomb, man. The pizza ain't that great, right? Nah. We're, 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 <laughs> I Chuck go there for the fights. Kid, <laughs> the fights. The fights. The mojos? Do you grow up on Chuck E. Oh, Cheese? Shakey's. 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 It was more Shakey's. 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 But I was telling you guys, they're like, bunch Shakey's. of lunch. They don't make it as good as they make the regular Shakey's pizza and mojos. They want you to no, leave. No, no, Fuck no. They look, they're, they're like fucking, dude, they make those things cheaply, dog. Shakey's, the only thing, nah, Shakey's, like, it's like Chuck E. Cheese. Like you gotta just make up an animal there, man. They know, they know, they know. Uh, <laughs> ma- mascot, right? Just video games. It's the mouse. rat, right? Yeah. It's a mouse, rat, yeah. No, the rat Shakey's. is Chuck E. Cheese. Shakey's. Oh, what did you? Oh, cha- Shakey's. Shakey's. Sorry. Shakey's, Shakey's, Shakey's is just an old pizza. It's just an old pizza parlor. Old pizza, 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 the bomb. Yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah, the fried chicken is the shit too, dog. Ah. The, 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 they fried potatoes and uh, the way they fried chicken. Yeah, and dude. they put in a flour and an egg, I guess, and they yeah, bake it. Yeah, there's this place on the road on the Turnpike, Jersey Turnpike, going down to Atlantic City from New York, and I. To always stop there and get the fried chicken fries mm. and they're potatoes mm. but they've been fried with a batter for the fried chicken that shit sounds it. good too they man. were good mm. Give me a little jar of ranch <laughs> they were very fattening but they're <laughs> i remember me and my friends went to uh shakey's and my friends were like dude they give you free uh mojos every they give you refills on mojos refills. you know so like, fuck yeah so we just we got there they gave us the mojos before we got pizza we just ate the mojos right away like we were ready for a refill like, <laughs> we didn't fucking get refills <laughs> on the oh, man. <laughs> we fucked up our friend dude <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Man, um, shaking was the first place I ever had blue cheese dressing. Oh, yeah? And everything On a salad? After that, it's like shit. <laughs> yeah, because their blue cheese tastes exactly like Boss Big Boy blue cheese. Did that's you? good. That's good uh, dressing because they sell it at Stater Brothers. They come in the little jars. Yeah, those man, jars. Uh, but, but then my dad tried, my dad liked blue cheese so much that he went home and bought Wishbone. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah, dude. And it has Which to be cold. Which bowl sucks, dude. <laughs> it is squirt bottle fucking dressing. Because I only like it on cop salads. I like blue cheese. Yeah. And then Hidden Ranch was the best ranch. I guess. Yeah, dog. Killing the game. Fool, with pizza. Well, the first time I fucking met up fucking ranch with pizza. Oh, oh my Oh, fuck. God. When you dip oh, it in. Oh, fool. When was that? Nah, the first Just time ranch, I ever yeah. met, I, 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 I tasted ranch with pizza. I was like, oh my God, this is a fucking I know the first revolutionary. Time, I know dog. the first time I had ranch with fries within Tucson, Arizona. Oh, at, that's at, good uh, too, At dog. EG's. Shout out to EG's in Tucson. They make um, fries with everything, man. They make um, pizza fries. They add mozzarella, mo- mo- mozzarella, and they and put marinara pepperonis, sauce. Right? And pepperonis, right? Pepperonis. And they have garlic them. fries, and they have um, Parmesan cheese wow. fries. But what I had was garlic fries Bomb. with bacon bits on top. <sighs> last, ranch. Last hey, night. Know, oh. 
I was gonna say, you know what else was used to be good back in the day? And you said eat that shit even before we ate the pizza. What? Crazy bread, dog. Ooh, when it first talk. came out. Like, you said you used to fuck up only crazy bread at oh uh, my God. Caesars, right? We, we, we were driving back. We talked about crazy bread for like 30 minutes in the <laughs> car. <laughs> crazy bread when it's nice and warm and fresh. From Little Caesars. Shit, I, I heard a back that told me, man, fuck a crazy bread. <laughs> it's and just then with bread the marinara and butter. was all thick, dog. The marinara, dog. Yeah. Fuck, like dude. it's a quarter to get an extra marinara, but oh, yeah. worth it. It was worth it, dog. Nice, thick, and rich. The way they did it in the old country. Did you want to order <laughs> just breadsticks or just Brooklyn. pizza and breadsticks? Uh, you can just order the the breadsticks and be cool with that butter. Dude, it's fucking, it's good. It's, yeah, but you need a little cheese too, dog. A couple of slices. <laughs> well, I was telling these guys, I was giving a, a lift to a couple, and it was a British guy, and her wife was American. Sure, yeah. yeah. And, and she was trying to explain to him what Little Caesars was, and he didn't get it. <laughs> the British guy did not get it. Like, why is the little guy? <laughs> With the Roman Yeah, he's a little Roman guy. Yeah, he didn't get it. He's like, why does he say pizza, pizza? Like, I don't know. He just <laughs> said this. But she was saying how good it was, right? She was like, it's the yeah. shittiest, greatest pizza you've ever didn't had. He, yeah. Didn't that guy say a little joke? Hey, have you heard the joke about how Mexicans cut their pizza? You don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> he know that joke? He know the nah, joke? Nah. Oh, oh man. So, <laughs> we, we, we were talking about it the last time, but um, yeah, I, yeah, I went to go do a show in, um, in fucking... Um, in Tucson, right? The last year. And right next to us, there was a couple, and the guy was like, I don't know, he was my age, but older, but he was tall, fucking drunk as fuck. And oh, he was the there, casino fool. Yeah, they he fucked was, up the bedroom? And he oh, was there with his mom that. and his daughter. No, his mom and his son and his lady who looked like, um, like he, he fucked up my room like a wrecking ball. Oh, and Hannah Miley Montana. Cyrus? Miley she was like Miley Cyrus. She had that short hair. She's a, she was a teacher. Yeah, and then, like, by the way, she didn't do the. I, was, I didn't go out there and meet anybody, but Martin Rizzo ran into her, right? What happened, bro? Wait, what were you talking about? She was the one that said that oh, her God. husband tore up the room. Oh, okay, it disappeared, okay, okay. right? Yeah. It's yeah, coming back. Like, it's coming back. Off. What show was this? She came up to you. Tucson, this Arizona. Time over she said that uh, this she, last he time. got paranoid. Oh, okay. So Crazy. what happened? Okay, so we're okay. So her wife, this older fucking, she looked like fucking a uh, Bridget Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> with a, yeah, from but Barry with a tan. Cop. Yeah, with a tan. Yeah, and yeah. Not that messed up of a face. Yeah, yeah. Like she looks like she divorced Ivan Drago and <laughs> <Like it's, laughs> went to Cal Malibu in the eighties. <laughs> so what happened? She looks like Bridget Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> no. but not as not as tore back though. No, yeah. you know those smoker creases yeah. and all like that. So I remember uh, she came up to me and she was, I was at the merch table and she was like, oh, is Felipe here? Cute. And I was like, oh, he's going to come out in a bit. You should be coming out, he should come out in a bit. And then after that, she told me, oh, uh, tell Felipe that last time I was here, because you're all were staying in the same hotel. Yeah. And then uh, she uh, saw you in the lobby and she took a picture with you and she was calling her husband, telling her, hey, I'm, I'm, Felipe's here. So I guess the husband was all drunk and drugged up that he thought that you got a hotel room there to fucking... Be like <laughs> there with yeah. him, you know. And then he started fucking uh, tearing up the room. He fucking fucked up the whole room in a rage, huh? in a rage, drunken, drugged rage. Yeah. Wait, he thought Felipe had gotten a hotel. Yeah, because yeah. we're. Him? Yeah. Tell me uh, that bro, part. I'm wow. hanging out at the hotel because I'm yeah. performing here. Or he, he like he thought he was there. Like he's like, why the fuck are you there with Felipe? You know. <laughs> but yeah, he's in the same fucking hotel. <laughs> That's you know? what I wanted in my life, an old horse. <laughs> and then fucking like, he just tore up the whole fucking uh, the whole uh, room, hotel room. But, they got charged like I think like two thousand. Dollars that was an like excuse a, to go party, dog. What the fuck's he talking about? Yeah, dude. I know. I would. You'll find any excuse to go fuck, yeah. though. He disappeared, right? And he, they, uh, I guess he left, but it was still the credit card on it. And then she was there. She was like, "Yeah, I, I, I want to tell him uh, that crazy story." I'm like, "I don't know, man." <laughs> the Imagine, podcast, bro, I would run into that phone and know what's going on. And I think she was still with that guy. I think that guy was still there. Of course, bro. Perfect love. Yeah, that's how we crazy always, every jealous. six months we have a big fallout. Yeah, we'll together. But that's crazy, man. Like. To think that way, that means he's doing shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, he must have fucking like, like that's. You, that's to actually that. think something like that crazy is that mean that he's done that before or has been involved? Because in they got who parties and takes off like that after you're married though. Yeah. I can understand if your boyfriend and girlfriend. Because they you can't got be a, running away after they that, got a hotel to be close to the show. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, because yeah, the mom was there. When she was going to the show. Yeah, and then the, the whole son. family was we there. We seen him the next morning, and she was telling him like the story. He of this mother. Yeah, and then we were there with Larry Bubbles Brown because we ate at that little buffet before he took off. Yeah. Oh my God, you don't even know what happened last night. Oh, what happened? And then she told us that little story. And the mom was like, yeah, me. Damn. <laughs> the little girl said, mer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, who lives like that, They're, dog? Fucking yeah. Arizona people. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that insane? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like crazy, that's dog. That's something you I got do. a room, bro. Oh, like, yeah. Be with Hannah Montana's mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm part of the, I'm, she should have told him. He's part of the book club. <laughs> yeah, that's had some crazy. What's up with that fool, bro? They wanted your, your fucking window open, bro, in the airplane. Oh, my God, dude. I See, dude, and, it, like and it's happened before with a lady. So, I mean, I usually get the window, you know, thank, thank the Lord. Of, you know, thank the manager of shit. Uh, <laughs> thank so, you, so. So I'm chilling, right? And this is the second flight, you know? The this fool gives me a little ed- edible, a nice smooth one, dude, that he fucking uh, hooked up with homeboy from up north. And they were like, Chewy nice, ch- nice <laughs> and chill, nothing fucking dramatic and crazy. And the second flight, I go in there to sit down, and then this little fucking, little rabble rouser, like little fucking Yosemite Sam with no mustache, little little old man, all, <laughs> all tough. He, used to, you, he was probably tough. He used to probably talk shit to the wife. He used to beat his kids and they'd do what he <laughs> says. But not tonight, dog. So I'm sitting there, right? Got my little headphones on, dude. You know, listening to my tunes as we do. And this, he's all, "Hey, can you p- pull up the window for takeoff? Because I need to see, I need to see the runway, and I need to see the sky." I'm, uh, nah. You should have bought a window seat. It's not happening today. <laughs> this is what I hear. <laughs> I was like, "This is what happened to baby dog again." Oh, okay. It's not my baby. I heard that guy fighting um, Lady Dykstra. <laughs> wow, dude! I was like, "Dude, this fool was having a tantrum." <laughs> and I was like, "And then so I just like I'm, I'm just, I start rocking out." Dog. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna oh, yeah. do, dog? And then he starts going like this. He had no headphones, bro. Yeah, he had no headphones. He's rocking to you. Rock it up to the devil, bro. Yeah. So then, dude, and this is my little trick, like how I put my seat back when the when the airplane's taking off because they tell you to put the seat up. When it's taking off, and right when it lifts up and gets in the sky, I hit the little button. I go, and then that's when it's to the end of the flight, right? So then he starts looking over, and it's like, oh, how we do that? <laughs> I was like, uh, you hit that little button, and then like twenty minutes later, he like you know his little ego got away from him, and he puts the seat down. And he's all, and he's all next to me like. <laughs> all comfortable now, dog. Little feet all up in the air. Tiny little dude, dog. Fight too. <clears throat> you know me, dog. Uh-huh. So I waited for this fool to go to sleep, dog. <laughs> yeah, of course. As soon as he go to sleep, dog. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir. I need to get up and use the uh, little <laughs> boys room. Oh, <laughs> That's how I get up too. Oh, That's how I get the guy behind me. Right when the guy behind me, like if the guy behind me kicking the thing or he's he doing something that really annoys me. As soon as that fool gets his drink, I pretend I'm sleeping and I just lean back and make it uncomfortable to get his drink. I'm a cool motherfucker, dog. But if you're being a dick, dude, I'm going to get you somehow, dog. <laughs> so then, uh, <laughs> so I get up and use the restroom, dog. Come back. And <laughs> I wait for that fool to go to sleep again, dog. I, this time I gave him about five minutes, dog. Excuse me, sir. I got to use the little boys' room again. I don't know what's wrong with you. Who was I get up? I let one rip, dog. And this was a oh, good one, dog. In front of him, when you're walking away. Yeah, but you know, mine are silent, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do like an ostrich, dog. <laughs> It's three hours at time. <laughs> Fool. So we're getting ready to land. I need you to put the, the window up. And I'm like. <laughs> I can't hear you, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't hear you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that part of Tommy Boy, fool, when they're talking about Bo Derek. He's all, he's all drunk. Fool, I'm acting all dumb. And he's all, hey, man, like I said, dude, next time, buy yourself a window seat. You can do whatever you want with the window. It's not happening today. Maybe, you, you know, you're like that to your kids and they do whatever you want, but you're not my father. <laughs> you told him that. Oh, honestly. man. <laughs> if I said that, I would have oh, socked in the face. <laughs> so, that um, fool, dude. Mystery, that fool was, uh, And it's so funny because they can't do shit, dog. If he gets crazy, dog, they'll tackle him or, you know, as a team. Put a pressure on him and throw yeah. him off. <laughs> and then the air marshals will get him and he can never fly again. So him you're and, tough to a point, dog. Him and Willie going to be in the back. Seat. <laughs> what are you here for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's like, dude, come on, man. And, dude, I let that little fool put his little elbows on. I, I didn't even, I was like this the whole flight, tucking in my arms. Dude, do what you want, but you're not going to open the window and you're not going to have your way, dog. Now, if he was nice, here you go. How about we switch seats for $100? Ooh. How about 150 <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? That's the problem the people, like, when we're taking off and it's morning, and there's one dude on the other side with a window open. Oh, my God. Mm, dog. Yeah. That's, That's like, me. That's the just finished telling you, stupid ass. I just Lower the, close the window because we're going to keep the plane, plane cool. won't cool. Yeah. For the rest of the remainder of the flight, it's hot. Oh, and you know what's funny about that old man? He tried to tell the way to the, the stewardess. 
Like he's like, I'm sorry, loud. we can't do anything, sir. Uh, what you need to do is get yourself some headphones next time. She keeps walking. Like Those that? <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had no headphones. He had nothing to nothing, do but just dog. sit there and be stupid. <laughs> he was going like this. I'm sorry. Twiddling his see. thumbs. He was going like this. Fool, I'm mad. <laughs> no book, no newspaper. Hey, fool, and then he did it in reverse, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he got bored and then he just he twiddled the he other way. It, yeah, he did it in reverse, dog. <laughs> or he lost count. Like, oh, oh man. man. It was hilarious, dog. That guy needs some He tortured himself. Man. I often feel like doing stuff like that, but then I feel like. I'm going to run into this person at some point. I'm going to need something from them. <laughs> like I feel like I feel like in LA when I cut somebody off or something, or I have a big altercation on the freeway or something, like or you look you're mad dog at somebody after I cut them off or whatever. Um, I feel like that person. I'm going to have a meeting with that person at some point. You know, they're going to be the person I'm meeting with. You know, or a job interview or whatever it yeah. might be, and I'm going to. Because I, I just feel like it, it's my luck you that that would up, happen. Rodrigo. No, <laughs> yeah, like, well, well, well. We no, I know. <laughs> like, like, curb your enthusiasm. Like, it could happen like that. Yeah. That's how I feel. You I know, I feel aw- afraid to do something with somebody like that because it'll come back to me. Like, I would look at the dirty shoes and I go, well, that's man, true. I'm <laughs> <this guy." laughs> that's true, too. There's other clues for you. you, know, you and then, like, the, he, he reminded me of Cotton from like, King of the Hill because he had little <laughs> high water pants. I kill Fitty Man. <laughs> and, and, like, those little boots that you could tell those are, like, the only shoes he wears, dog. Good ink. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could be a dick and tie his little shoes to the little, to the little thing on the yeah. seat, dog. <laughs> I kill Fitty Man. <laughs> Uh, that guy, just, that guy yeah. just needs a Popeye's chicken sandwich. There was a guy sitting on my, my window seat, bro. And then, like, I, the fool got up. And, like, his wife was sitting over there, bro. He gave me the look. Like, if I was going to ask him if he could see his wife. And I just looked at both of them. I didn't even look at her, bro. I just looked at him. And I just sat down and closed my eyes. Separating bro. families, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel, like feel bro? We got children separated. You and your <laughs> <Yeah>. wife <laughs> could be fucking apart for a whole fucking two-hour flight. It's not gonna happen in my watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Some guy asked me, man, cause I, I was about to get my middle seat, and there was a, a guy sitting there with a lady, and he goes, um, "Oh man, I need, if I can have the seat, cause I, I, was gonna get the, I was gonna sit on the other aisle seat, and get the same aisle." And I told him, "Only if you say pretty please." He said that for real? Yeah, and he said, "Pretty please, all right." Damn. Yeah, I would get socked again if I said yeah. <laughs> If they ask me, dog, and I don't want to move, I'll be like, listen, we're not If I don't see top. a please in the conversation, because I feel like they're, gonna, they're the one that's winning in this deal, bro. I don't get no hat. I'm pretty, this person that's going to say thank you either, dog. Well, like I'm not going to give a, a, a window seat for an aisle seat or Ever. or a middle seat, but I'm also going to give for an American Airlines or Delta going, we're not flying Southwest today. This is a sign CD. That's a verbal verbal currency right there. There you go. <laughs> right? It's like Bitcoin, but in words. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cause that each. How about you? You would be sitting down in Southwest. I'll be going saving this seat. Yeah, yeah. You take it? Nah, fool. I don't want no fucking to deal with that bullshit, dog. Even though, but you know, they'll start telling them that you can't save the seats. And then some people. No, no, no. Yeah. We're waiting. I'm like, sorry, but you got to make it for this person right here. Oh, remember that next time. Yeah, dude. So we're not saving seats. Nope. The no saving seats tool. Toby gets up a lot though. He has to let out that little beer from his little. What is that called? Where you hurt, hold your urine. Uh, I'm gonna say your bowel. Yeah, bowel. Hey, bowel. Toby's not. Toby's not naturally skinny. I think yeah. he eats salads all the time. He eats fruits. He doesn't eat bread. <laughs> I think. He, yeah. Well, you're saying he's an alien? <laughs> oh, no, no, he's not natural. I can't he's chew. <laughs> I can't <laughs> chew it for me, Rizzo. What? <laughs> Nah, that fool's been skinny his whole life. I want to yeah. see pictures when he was a little kid, dog. Yeah. We met a dude from Silmar at the, in McAllen. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, Thug Misfit, thank, man. Thug thank you Misfit. very much for bringing us those uh, papes. Hell yeah, fool. What's up, dog? Save that day. Dog. Super happy, man. They went to the Noble Theater last year. Yeah, we met, a, we met a couple at the end of the show. I forgot their yeah. name. Oh, yeah. Those. But you they were from around there. Yeah. yeah. That was cool, man. Then we met up, and then um, we did the sh- Lubbock the next day, right? In and out, huh? Yeah, my Lubbock yeah. home of Buddy Holiday, man. Fucking hot. Super hot. Uh, oven heat, huh? Yeah, dude. I ate like t- two Impossible Burgers yeah, on the you, weekend. I, as soon as I got to, I just ordered them, bro. I was hungry. Yeah, I ate Impossible Burgers. With Would you eat food. anything good? Uh, what did we eat? Hell, you were starving now. Chipotle, but I ate Chipotle. it after. What, what did we have the day before that, though? We know. had a uh, kebabs, right? Mediterranean food. Yeah, Mediterranean food. It was all right. It was Charlene yeah. Manson. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing beats those uh, 
All you guys chose the wrong time to be vegan, man. You guys should have waited until after Popeye's chicken. Yeah, really, how is it? I, I heard it's yeah. bomb, dude. dude. I want, I want to try it. Dog. They run out, right? They, they do. Uh, so I had to go to the one in Boyle Heights that's open twenty four hours. Uh, what's it called? Twenty four hour it's Popeyes. A, it's across the yeah. street from the hospital. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm Marengo. Yeah. So he set an alarm like, <laughs> like four in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So I went <laughs> there. <laughs> long line. <laughs> and long line at four in the morning. No, it was at two in the morning. Long oh, right line. Right after bars. Yeah. Right after the so bar. nothing but nurses and doctors and the railway oh, people yeah. too. But then the next day, me and Steph were like, "Let's go get some more." And then we went. <laughs> we drove to three fucking Popeyes. They were all fucking. They all right now. There's like signs. Is it that good? What is it like? It's oh, natural hot chicken chicken chickens sandwich. everywhere, though. Dude, there's something different is here. Is it the hot chicken? <laughs> you know, it's big, right? You know they're putting crack in that shit, dog. Yeah, something, yeah there's drugs in there. The best it's better than Jack in the Box? Better, dude. It's tender. Dude, the the bread, the shit, buttery. Uh, the chicken, it's like greasy. The best way I can describe it is, you know when you take a bite of a sandwich, you can like, go, you, you feel your teeth go through layers, bread and meat. It's one fucking bite and you go through everything. At bread once. And at once. Bread and chicken at once. Melts in your mouth. Yeah, I'm a skeptic, you know. I'm always like those kind of guys. I mean, I, I don't believe the hype, you know. <laughs> a skeptic. You're not a He's skeptic. LA. You fall for yeah, everything. Yeah, you know. You're not a skeptic at all, man. Yeah. Did you, you know, know Johnny was coming to Portland? Maybe you meant skeptic. <laughs> Maybe you meant skeptic. Yeah, skeptic. I'm a skeptic. I'm a skeptic tank. <laughs> it was good food. Ranch um, dressing on it. No, yeah. you you don't. There it was just minimal minimal sauce, bro. It fucking tastes good. Oh my gosh! And me, I was like, we seriously we drove to fucking Chick Fil A. Do way better. Dude, I heard they fucking put those fools to shame, dog. But what mm-hmm. makes it different? The batter? The ba- maybe, you know, I think it's like the buttermilk uh, fried chicken, Dude, the bread, the sauce, chicken, and it's dog. just so tender, like so I said. So there's sauce on it. What kind of sauce? It's like pink sauce. Is it that Popeye sauce Popeye they put sauce on yeah. I don't know. It's I never kind had of almost in like, my life, um, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's so good. It's, it's like it's, a spicy, yeah. like... Is Almost it like, like super spicy? No, no, no. You can get together, spicy no. or you can get a regular, but dude, it's just like I said, one bite and just go through everything okay. like that. Just it's melts. good. KFC what's, coming out with a Beyond Meat vegan chicken. Yeah. Well, what's funny though is that the the that chicken sandwich was released on the twelfth of August and nobody did. Nobody. Anything. Nobody said anything. Until Who started this shit? It was the tweet from Chick Fil A. We were first talking we shit. We were first yeah, talking, talking shit. shit, and it blew up in their faces. Because then people started going, <laughs> Popeyes has a chicken sandwich. Like, they didn't do their own. They, ad- they don't need to do any out. advertising, we, no. Then people made their own memes. People Popeye loves gays. Right. Yeah. Like, I haven't seen gays. Popeyes get this much press since ever. Since no. they ever. Ch- Change their logo, oh. right? And they're, well, are they still only on Even the Even a commercial now, love that the chicken at Popeyes. The south, no? They're in the South now? Yeah. East Coast too now? Because they didn't used to exist. It was no, only West no. Coast. They've been getting bigger in the last 10 years here, too. There's yeah. more. But so it was only selectable. Oh, that's right. There's Louisiana. That's yeah, they used to, yeah, that right. one. And they used to be like just Pioneer yeah. Chicken. Like every yeah. Because we just had churches. Sporadic. Churches in Ohio. Bomb. We had yeah. churches. Yeah. Done right. Churches biscuits. Yeah, the honey biscuits. That shit. But I've never Popeye seen. Popeye's the one that gives you the biscuit and the honey, right? And it tastes yeah. good. Yeah. But I've never seen a fast food chain restaurant get this much hype for fucking uh, just an item on their menu. Like, there's not even fucking one like the, like the McRib. No, nothing, dude. I think yeah, it's or, the, like, or the shamrock shake. <laughs> yeah. People are like finally comparing Popeyes to Chick Fil A chicken, and they're like, "Oh shit, it's pretty much the same." But Popeyes never had a sandwich before, though. Yeah, either yeah. that's another thing, right? Uh, right? They've ne- always just been like just box of chicken, chicken, just popcorn like chicken, shrimp, um, yeah. KFC. And KFC right? had their sandwich, but they, they did? Were, yeah, the little chicken tenders. Yeah. Well, I know they do. They still do those, the little ones. And they had the, the bacon. Who uh, the, 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 sna- the, the baconator? Snackers. Yeah. Baconator? I think that's a. Uh, oh, it was Carl's, no? No, who was, who was the, it, was a, it was like a, a like a boneless breast wrapped around with bacon. I think that's uh Wendy's, no? I don't know. I don't know. My ex's mom used to make that. That shit's good. She worked oh. at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> she worked at Popeyes. She was, she was Wendy's. She worked at Popeyes. <laughs> yeah, it sounds <laughs> always. Uh, my no. mom always says I'll Popeyes. Make it, like, I'll I'll make it, it like that. Making sandwiches <laughs> with a patch on her eye, huh? <laughs> You want to call it Popeye? I want to call it Popeye. Like, yeah. oh, well, that's how they say Popeye well, in Spanish. That's what it's called. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's Spanish. No, we see Popeye in the tele, in the caricaturas. Si, güey. Está muy chingado, güey. But, I learned that when we had that fish, that Popeye fish, and I was looking Popeye. up in it, and I saw that. It's That's good too, it though. It. Popeye fish, a little yeah. catfish. No, 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 uh. no. A fish called a Popeye goldfish because uh. it has big balloon <laughs> eyes. Like, those are bomb. They have big eyes that stick out. But to drive to three different That's locations to try get this chicken, like, and before fucking she had to go to work, and fucking that family <laughs> hey. fucking job, bro. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. Thank God you drive lift. <laughs> <laughs> we we drove by yesterday uh, a Popeyes. I don't know if it was yesterday. Or on the way home, there were people standing in line. You mean the one in Boyle Heights? I think so. Because we, uh, we got gas in Boyle Heights. That might have been, that when, it might have been when you were driving with me. Yeah. Earlier in the day. But yeah, that shit fucking took the off. The line was outside, dude. Yeah. 
crazy, bro. And what about the sandwich cost? Four bucks? Uh, three ninety nine. That's cheap. Yeah. Fucking Compared good to price. a Chick Fil A or seven or eight. Yeah, no, dude. Chick Fil A is not like seven five or eight. Something. Yeah, like four or five. But man, and you get it with a soda and fries. Uh, yeah. Mm, y- y'all should relapse for one day. <laughs> but it's spicy. <laughs> should we relapse? <laughs> relapse one day? Bro, what was happening? Just don't, don't go vegan for one day. <laughs> Like uh, that uh, Amish uh, holiday at Ramshmamunshka? What's it called? Rum Spring. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Ramshmamunshka. Rum Spring. Wait, one day or right. one week they just do whatever they want. And Not a week. It's like a whole. A summer, right? Oh, summer. Summer, oh, summer, shit. A whole six weeks. Rum Spring. Like Ramshmamunshka. Go hoe out in the city, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's not the show, man. Hoe it up, man. Yeah, That's you used to watch the <laughs> Amish in the city or something, whatever yeah. it's called. And that was like. Basically, it was their rum spring. They were yeah. following Good them. documentary. Too. Ezekiel, mm-hmm. yeah. please behave in and New And some York of City. them did go back because they would be shunned from their family if they didn't return. Shun. What's up, fool? What's up, fool? So Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses, too, right? Oh, you're not Jehovah's Witnesses. No. <laughs> Dustin. We don't do that. Your victory outreach. <laughs> victory outreach, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're the victory born again. Out, uh, I, was, I was a Jehovah's Witness for a bit. You were? Yeah, you were. Oh. Yeah, you I, know, I knew Dustin was hardcore, like, growing yeah. up. Through. You know how hard it is to have that many wives in the kitchen at once, man? <laughs> <laughs> Jehovah's Witness? What? You know, they married a bunch of women. Mormon. Mormon. No, they Mormon. don't. That's Mormon. Oh, Mormon. Dude. Oh, Mormon. Okay. So I'm fucking at my own religion. That's your fake religion. <laughs> my morning. <laughs> my morning. I'm still my mom. You gotta work on that punchline. <laughs> Mormon, then. You know how many women <laughs> in one kitchen? All right. You have shows coming up, food? March and Rizzo? Yeah, uh, Friday, Boyle Heights at this uh, gallery, the art gallery. What's it called? Oh, no. Thursday, I'm doing a show at the, <laughs> at the Long Beach one. Aquarium. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck oh, you're hosting that thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. That music I was thinking show. of going with Isaac. It's Thursday? Thursday, I thought yeah. it was a weekend thing. No, no, it's Thursday. Oh, I'm going to do I'm jokes about ceviche there. I'm not going to go down for that. <laughs> uh, mojarras. Mojarras bro. fritas. You have shows, fool? Got yeah, Thursday, UCB, color people time. Ooh. 8 o'clock. Viva Los Jokes with Martin Moreno, September 10th in Riverside. You know what, I'm doing the brunch comedy, eh? Comedy 11. Here's the comedy show at 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. the Sunday. Yeah. Who does? Oh, my brunch. Martin. Sunday brunch. service. Yeah, Sunday service. With Martin and who? People show up for that shit? Just yeah. Mega Man, huh? What time, what time <laughs> I think it's at like 10 a.m. You're doing or that? noon. No, no, oh. no. We're doing uh, Viva Los Jokes oh. with Martin oh. September 10th in Riverside at the Life Art Center. But yeah, that's his his weekly show on Sundays. He is doing that. Yeah. So the second one he did, somebody else hosted, right? And then I thought, I was like, oh, Yeah, I think done George did it already. that weekend. Oh, George. Yeah. Okay. Because they were gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, they were gone or something. You know what, Russell? All right. Wrap it up. Let's go. Wrap it so up. we're going to find out more updates later on. <laughs> Whatever comes Ooh. in to the database, we'll uh, definitely uh, update you guys and see if there's a so Kickstarter fund. You, you got two gigs, right? Two gigs? Who? You got really two gigs. Um, no, no, no. What's the name? Martin hooked up two gigs with them. Okay. You yeah. Make him a cake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, make him a cake. Yeah, hey, bro. Though. I, don't, I don't want to get fat, bro. <laughs> A right, gluten-free cake then, Willie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Bro. What's up, fool? Thank you, Lisa Esparza, Martin Rizzo, Johnny Roque, and Rodrigo Torres, co-host yeah, of the year, bro. What do you want? You still doing yeah, man? Yeah, man. It's out. The and yours, bro? Squad by the bar every week, yeah. Bro, did you, th- you said there was a guy there that paid for your Netflix because he likes your podcast? Yeah, so there's this guy, Amil like Reyes. Oh, lady. shout out to Mil Reyes. <laughs> yeah, he's a fan of the podcast. And he's a sponsor because he pays for my, me and Stephanie's HBO Go. That's awesome. Month, yeah. You know it's very sober, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's just doing this out of the kindness of yeah, my heart? Kindness. Yeah, he, he likes the he likes screenshot of your butt, dude. Oh, my god. He goodness. likes the podcast and he likes the videos. He loves so the videos. So he's paying for your Netflix. Uh, so if he uh, ever gets mad at you, he'll turn it off. Yeah, so as long as I mention him every podcast, because he, he's a fan of the podcast. So <laughs> Did I, you I mention guess. him today? Yeah, I mentioned right now. Mill Mill Ray, yes. He went to the San Jose show uh, last week. Who said you could get free advertising? Well, like, <laughs> <laughs> what does HBO Go cost? I don't $14. Know. A month? Okay. Yeah. Without cable. You don't have to have any cable. You guys want the password? No, we have HBO now. $140 for a year of promotion. <laughs> <laughs> He's a winner. Uh, you better get send you a Hulu account too. I know. No, uh, better send me a dick pic. I'll, or I'll cut you off. off. That's crazy. <laughs> so that's weird. Week. He wants something. He's gonna call that favor. <laughs> yeah, one day you guys are gonna be doing your videos and. <laughs> Are you looking for a grip guy? Where do I put, <laughs> where do I put mine, dog? He's going to suggest you go on the Snapchat premium. For yeah. <laughs> my lights. And wasn't there that other couple <laughs> that, that followed you and you followed them that they were doing basically porn on Snapchat, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't porn, but it was like yes. she was nude and it was suggestive. And 
That dude looked like Memo, bro. He was, yeah, well, I shouldn't. <laughs> dude, I, I don't want to see the porno star do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I wonder if the guy ever did porn, though. He looked uh, like Memo, the guy who does. Nah, uh, fool. You got to have skills to do that shit, I don't know what, I don't know what shit, his lady's name, but she does have a. It's Tattoo Princess or something Tattoo like Princess. That. You gotta be like an athletic fool, like dude. That you have to have all that shit, yeah. dude. You can't not just a normal fool can walk. Tattooed there, no? princess, something like that. And um, she basically just eat tacos, right? <laughs> she, she loves, she tacos. loves tacos. And she she lost a bunch of weight, I think, years ago. And she's young too, right? Yeah, like an early twenties. The guy's like forty. I thought so. Fucking I don't daddy know. issues over here. <laughs> what's up, fool? Maybe I get together with him, bro. See what's up, jo- Rizzo? With Mil Reyes? No, no. with um. Tattoo oh, the tattoo guy do yeah. a a, a, a collab or a, even a, a crossover. Podcast. Yeah, do a crossover. <laughs> crossover <laughs> porno. And come back with herpes, dog. <laughs> come back with, with herpes and glitter on your ch- lip. <laughs> <laughs> I cancel you with Hawaii glitter on your lip one time. I did. <laughs> I'm rubbing gifts. I'm rubbing gifts. Somebody threw me a, somebody threw a, sh- a sugar skull at me. <laughs> a sugar <laughs> skull. <laughs> I haven't been to a strip <laughs> club in like 10 years, dog. It was the other muertos, bro. I don't think it was a strip club. It was a girl. Someone threw a cascarón at me, dog. Cascarón. Years ago. German. For I was I don't know where I was yesterday. I was I was I was I was I was showing you the restroom, right? And then like some douche comes out of the restroom with like hair like Raymond Norta, all curly, but he was blonde, wedo, right? And I said, "Órale, wedo." Oh, the restroom at the gas station. And I went, "Órale, wedo." When he came out of the bathroom, he goes, "No, he, he came out and goes, ya está listo." And he goes, and I told him, "Órale, wedo." And then he looks at me and goes, "¿Cómo estás, loco?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that fool. What's up, fool? 